Good morning, class. No, not November is finally over, and I'm proud to say it. I made it. I made it. On a completely unrelated note, I've had a bit of a nostalgia trip and have been playing a bit of Minecraft as of late. While the vast world of Minecraft would seem safe for work to the uninitiated, we veterans know that this is not the case. For the past week, I've been at least half chubbed every waking moment. Now I'm not sure whether or not this is due to the inherent attractiveness of Minecraft's mobs or the anti-acorn month, but nevertheless, to help me and hopefully you, my dear pupil, I have scientifically concocted a list of Minecraft's hottest creatures so you can seek them out. Now this is a task so grand that I shall inadvertently consider this my magnum opus. There is but one format with the grandeur to portray the magnificence of this project. The top 10 list. This left me with the unenviable task of culling down Minecraft's vast catalogue of potential waifus to a measly 10. Also, it should go without saying that mobs unavailable on the Java version of the game will be immediately disqualified. So right away, we'll be cutting all mobs that can only spawn via cheats. Sadly, this does mean gems like the giant and the killer rabbit cannot make the list, but hey, that's life. Now for the hard part. Then we'll exclude the boss monsters, since they're either way too big or way too destructive to get it. Next, we'll be doing away with all skeletal creatures now, some of you may see this as outrageous, but if you think that the skeleton is Minecraft's best waifu candidate, consider this, you, you, you might be a necrophiliac, and I don't condone that. So bye bye skeleton, stray skeleton, horse skeleton, horseman, and wither skeleton. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give the boot to all tameable mobs and anything that could be considered a farm animal. Similar to the skeletal mobs, this is bestiality and should stay in your basement. So no cow, sheep, pig, chicken, mushroom, mule, horse, donkey, cat, parrot, wolf, fox, or llama. I'll also take out everything roughly the size of my pee. <coughs> Furthermore, I'll remove everything roughly the size of my sub And while we're at it, I'll also give the boot to the Guardian since I'm not really that into acupuncture. It just crossed my mind that we should also cross out all jockeys since having two mobs in one is a bit unfair. And also one of them's a baby. Then I'll also cut all the nether mobs that are left like the blaze, magma cube, and zombie pigmen. I know we're looking for the hottest mob in Minecraft, but A, I'm not about to do you dirty by declaring Blaze the hottest mob, and B, I'm not looking to scorch a sausage. The ghast also falls into this category, but I'd have left it out regardless since it's a big crybaby and gentle sobbing doesn't exactly turn me on. It hits way too close to home. Next on the chopping block is the snow golem, since it can only spawn if created by the player, and at that point, isn't it kinda like an adopted child, and that's a tad messed up. And due to a similar reason, we'll also not consider the vex, since it can only spawn via an invoker's spell. And finally, the last three getting shafted are the phantom, silverfish, and endermite. Phantom's gone, since it goes on a full-on rampage if you haven't slept in a while and I'm not looking to live in a goddamn war zone. As for silverfish and endermites, you. Now with that finally out of the way, it's time to find Minecraft's hottest, most voluptuous wife. Introducing... Minecraft's top 10 waifus! Number 10. Spider. Being kinda thick is in its only merit, it has 8 legs, 
which is sure to bewilder anyone with a foot fetish. Number 9. Panda. If number 10 wasn't thick enough for you, here's thick. You can also do somersaults, and acrobatic girls seem to be a subcategory on the hub in and of itself. Number 8. Enderman. It's tall, it's athletic, there's enough of them to recreate that one meme. The only downside is that the moment it comes into contact with anything wet, it f***ing dips. Number 7. The slime. Not only does it come in a three different sizes, it can split into clones of itself. In the undying words of Plato, two waifu, it do be better than one. Oh, and also it comes pre-lubricated. Number six, Wandering Trader. I'm getting real handsome Squidward vibes from this one. Also, the romantic potential is way up there. You need but glance towards him and he's already busted out the magic carpet and has a musical number ready to go. Number 5. Iron Golem. Unlike its snowy cousin, it can be encountered in the wild. So it counts. Also, it's jacked out of its goddamn mind. And makes for an excellent big spoon. Number 4. Squid. What that mouth do? Give me the good Zuck! Number 3. Creepa. I did feel obliged to put this one here. And judging by the fact that it can drop music discs. It's either akin to a pop star, which is pretty hot, or a SoundCloud rapper dropping their mixtape, which is super hot. Number 2. The Drowned. I also feel obliged to include at least one of the zombie variants. I chose the Drowned based on its gurgles. It sounds like it's got the grapefruit technique down to a fucking science. Number 1. The Polar Bear. Not only is it an arctic beauty it also comes in a mom variant for those who are into that but despite the kinks it also shows that it can provide for you it exposes the carefully hidden tender side of the bear also it's thick beyond your wildest dreams hopefully my life's work has given you some insight on how best to recover from our, our completed trials last month. But without further ado, class dismissed.